Hey, it's Rich, the Louisiana Hobby Guy. Today we're going to do something a little bit different. Since I opened the forums and the online store, I've been getting a lot of questions about the free downloads, and I wanted to take a few minutes today and try and answer those questions in this video so that everyone understands how to use this website or both of these websites. So the first thing I want to point out is that uh, when you come to the forums, you're going to see I'm logged in here. If you're if you're not logged in, you need to either log in or create an account. Once you log in, this section right here is where all of the members only files and the downloads are located. So if you click on that, you'll see in here these are the all the members only files. So we have the art libraries, we have the uh, regular library for cutting and engraving. We have fonts and we have some other files down here. Let's concentrate today. I'm going to go to the art library and the the cut library is is the same procedure. So if I click on this, you'll see there's a notice up here for you to read. And then down here, and that's pretty much what we're going to cover today in this video is the folder organization. And you have your steps right here, one, two, and then one, two, three. And it tells you how to do this, but I'm going to cover this today in the video. So below these notices up here, you'll see that these are all the different art library files. And there's a couple of pages of them. Okay, so we're just going to pick the very first one. It tells you what it is, and then it tells you here, animals. So this is my animal artwork. So if I click on this, it's going to bring up my save dialog. Okay, so now what I suggest you do is in desktop, you have Lightburn. And then here I have Lightburn Art. And then I have my cut library over here. I have my templates over here. So I'm going to go to Lightburn Art. So now we're in Desktop, Lightburn, Lightburn Art. And all you have to do is click Save right here. And that saves it. And there you see, and now you'll see it's downloaded and it's ready to go. Let's come down here and bring up Lightburn. And now in Lightburn, we're going to come to the Art Library tab. It could be up here, it could be down here. If you don't see the Art Library tab, all you have to do is right click on this header right here and then come down here and check the box that says Art Library. The second way you can do it is come up here to Window and check the box that says Art Library. These are all the tabs on the right hand side over here. You can check whatever ones you want, whichever ones you don't want. We're going to check the Art Library. Then we come here to Load, right down here on the right. We click Load, Lightburn. Lightburn Art, and we just load the file that we just brought in. And you'll see here it is right here. Now once you've done this, it's saved, and you don't have to worry about it anymore. It's going to be here all the time. When you're done using it, you can click Unload, and it'll go away, so that you don't have too many categories over here. Usually I just have what I'm working on here. So now, let's go back over here, hit the Back button, and now let's go to the Cut Libraries. And this one is the same, but I just want to make sure that you understand something here is that you pick the right one. It doesn't matter the word or tour here, but what matters is that it's 20 watts. So you'll see right here it says 5.5 watt library. So if you have a 20 watt laser, this is the one that you're going to use. If you have a 15 watt laser, this is the one that you're going to use here. Okay, this is NAJ. Now, i am give you a quick warning about NAJ. They didn't participate very well. They just sent me a 100% file, so everything burns at 100% and they just changed the speeds. And this is basically what I had to work with from NAJ. So, if you look down here, the 4630, that's the 30 watt, 4640, that's the 40 watt, and this is another 30 watt file from NAJ. The only ones NAJ sent me was the 30 and the 40. So you have the N30 and you have the the uh, A30. I'm not quite sure what the difference is in those. I'm not a NAJ expert. So now again, you would do the same thing. You'd find your power. Say I had the N40630. You'd click on the CLB, the cut library. You'd come to the Lightburn folder. And you're just following the instructions that I had at the top of the file. And see where I say where it says library cut and this is where you would download this file and just say yes now if we come back to Lightburn again and over here on the bottom right you'll see library and all you have to do is click over here where it says load 
when you click load go to desktop light burn light burn cut or whatever you've named it so that you remember it and you just pick the file that you want you just double click the file that you want and it's just that simple so now with that done let's go over to the graphics website which is engravingcutfiles.com and I've gotten a bunch of questions here about well how do I see the products that I've downloaded so on this website there's all types of graphics that you can buy a lot most of them are light burn files let's take this cats for instance and this is one of the free files and there's a lot of free files here on this website for you to download so if I were to click on this it'll take me to the actual product itself and here it is right here so this is the free file itself you could see it's on the light burn bed so what you would do is you would click add to cart and that's pretty much about it come over here to checkout hopefully you'll do a little more shopping and find something that you want to buy click on checkout come to checkout and you'll see it says your order your address and all you have to do is agree to the terms and place the order now once you've placed the order in here you see your order number the date and everything and over here and I think this is where people get confused where it says downloads they're clicking over here which just takes them back to the original file so up here you have to look at the headings product downloads remaining expires download and you click here this is the actual download so once you click on this you'll see that it'll open up and then you can come to your light burn light burn templates and you can save it right here everything's already named now keep in mind this is a zip file now once you've downloaded that what you do is come to the folder where you've downloaded it and here it is right here and if you're on a Windows machine just click extract all and then you'll get another dialog just say extract then you can delete this one just hit the delete key we'll delete that and here it is right here and if you look in here there's the actual light burn file all you have to do is double click it and there it is and this comes with some project notes just say okay and here's your file now here's another step that you might want to do too I'm gonna to come over here and say new over here on the art library tab I'm gonna say new I'm gonna, it's it's gonna be in my desktop light burn light burn art and I'm gonna call this I'm just gonna call this one just for argument's sake and you'll see now that one has opened up you'd probably call this one cats so now you'll see that this is either one file or three files this one happens to be three if it if it's one file you can click on it and ungroup it up here and then it'll be three different files but I'm gonna click on this file and I'm gonna say import down here on the right import graphic from project and I'm gonna call this one one and say okay you see it's there then I'm going to click on this one, import graphic, and I'm going to say two. And I'll click on this one, import graphic, and say three. Now, all of those are there forever. So no matter what I'm doing, I've deleted the ones that were on the screen. When I come back over here, all I have to do is double click on it to bring it back out. And these are high resolution graphics, and they can be scaled. It could be any size. It could be poster size. It could be billboard size. So there you have it. And again, this is not my usual maker's video or a tutorial, but I just wanted to answer some of the questions because, you know, we've gotten over a thousand members on the forums now. I have over 2,000 customers on the engravingcutfiles.com. So I've been getting a lot of questions and I wanted to make this video. So I have a quick short video to reply to the emails and say, here, watch this video. So I hope this has answered all of your questions about how to download the free templates and also how to download the graphics. And as always, I thank you for watching.